What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we're headed out to a new camp spot. Well not really new, we've been there before, but we're headed out to a camp spot right now. We've got to make one stop to pick something up. It's gonna be something special. So for all of my preppers out there, my car campers, my truck campers, my van lifers, this one's for you. And it all starts right now. Good evening guys. Hope y'all can hear me over the wind, but tonight we're out at, at a camp that we've been to before. And as you can see, we got camp all pretty much set up for right now. Um, gonna probably start some dinner here in a little bit. Um, anyway, we're up here at uh, Lake Granbury tonight, here at one of the parks. So, it's kind of noisy, got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of people in and out. Anyway, like I said, I hope y'all can hear me over all the wind and all the different noises and stuff. Um, anyhow, this should be a good one. And I do have something special for you guys for uh, my all my like car campers, my truck campers, my van lifers, my preppers. I've got something very special in mind for you guys. So it'll be coming up uh, in the morning. So... Uh, I would do it tonight, but it's going to take a little time, so I'm just going to do it tomorrow in the morning, and uh, we'll show that off to you, and you're really, really going to like it. So, anyway, um, like I said, we got camp pretty much all set up here. I'm going to go ahead and start getting stuff out, getting ready to start some dinner, and we'll uh, get back to you once we get dinner going. So, catch y'all here in a few, guys. Okay hey guys, you see I got my chicken noodle soup done, I'm going to style chicken noodle, I'm going to sit here and eat that, and uh, I'm going to sit and enjoy that, and we'll get back to you here in just a second. Okay guys, dinner's done, and I'm just going to kind of sit here and relax for a little bit. Sun's already gone down. Got a really 
really beautiful sunset and uh, got a couple of pictures captured of it everything looked pretty good so anyway like I said I'm just gonna kick back and relax uh, unfortunately there are no fires out here tonight there's a fire man so there won't be any fires lit tonight and uh, hopefully the wind ain't too bad and we be able to win in a straight line probably 15-20 miles an hour out here again um, just like last week so anyway guys I will catch y'all in the morning unless somebody else pops up and uh, we'll see y'all here in the morning. Night, guys. Now, guys, I don't know if y'all can hear this or not, but this wind is unbelievably unreal. Eleven o'clock at night. Anyway, it's eleven o'clock at night, and I'm just being beat to death by my tarp. I think I'm going to have to get up and take it off or something. I don't know what I'm going to have to do, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I'll try to bring you back if something crazy is going on, and this is what's crazy. Anyway, I guess I better get up and figure out what I gotta do. Oh man, this thing is just beating me to death. Alright. I'll bring y'all back if anything else happens. Good morning. Oh, guys. It was really hard to sleep last night, but I did manage to sleep quite a bit. I slept for about maybe three or four hours. But, you know, I need to get up and uh, get some stuff done. This wind is just unreal. It, it was so windy all night. It's windy again this morning. Still. So hopefully y'all can hear me over the, the tarp flapping and whatnot, but anyway, um, I still have something special I want to show you guys, so I'm about to get up here in a little bit and uh, show that off, so anyway, for all of my preppers, car campers, truck campers, van lifers, I think you are really going to enjoy what I have to show you, so, anyway, um, let me get up and we'll, uh, try and get something to eat, and then maybe after I get something to eat, I'll get this shown to y'all, so, all right, give me just a minute, guys. We'll be right back. What's up, and good morning, guys. Welcome back. All right, so 
When I said I had something special for all you guys today, well, I've got something special in mind just for y'all. All right, so for all my preppers, for all my car campers, my truck campers, my van lifers, this I think you're really going to like. So what I've got here is the new 200 watt hour Browie power station. This little thing right here. This is the Browie 200 watt hour power station. Lightweight, easy to move around, has little rubber feet on the bottom so that way when you set it down it's not going to like slide around and move. Now to turn on the power station you got to turn on the AC power. Hit this little top button here gives you your AC power to turn on the power station which turns on your AC plug as well or yeah your AC plug. Also the AC power turns on the flashlight over here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright so your flashlight here comes with different modes so you got your on uh, I guess that's a low then an SOS and then a strobe and off now right below that right here is the uh, fan the fan that cools the system keeps the heat out of the batteries removes all that heat from out of the power station then on the side here, which is your front facing side, you got a little pocket here on the front to store like USB cables for like charging phones and stuff. Up here is your um, cigarette lighter, 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Then down here is your 120 volt AC plug outlet. And then over here, you have a DC plug for your uh, solar panels and stuff like that so you turn that on to charge it and then you have your little display button here so what that does is it turns on the uh, the backlighting for the display and also uh, when you hit that it turns the display on so you can see all the different readouts now right below that is your solar panel input and outputs so you got your uh, one solar panel input right here back behind it and then you got two little outputs and then right below that is your two USB 3's and two USB C's right there in that little compartment there Now, on this side here, you have your digital display readout. When you hit your display button, it turns on the backlighting for the display. And then right below that here, you have your, Fahr your uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius readings, and also the uh, humidity that's in the air. So it reads all that right there. This is the back side of it. It has two little leather, well, pleather straps, I guess. It's not really real leather, it's pleather, but... You know, it wraps around the whole unit right there like that this is again the Browie B-R-O-W-E-Y 200 watt hour power station now this does not come with a solar panel you have to order the solar panel separately from the unit um, it is a proprietary uh, solar panel to this unit um, I'm not sure that you can like charge it off of another solar panel. You may be able to. I don't know. Um, however, if you don't have a solar panel and you own a laptop of some kind, you can charge the Browie power station using a laptop brick. This one just happens to be a, a 12 volt 7 amp. Uh, power brick for a laptop to charge a laptop with so you can use that and it'll charge the uh, Browie power station now I charge this power station from 
almost empty to completely full in about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half to two hours from zero to full. Now, I did use the power station last night and I absolutely enjoyed it. This little power station charged my phone from com almost completely empty to completely full in about 45 minutes using the uh, USB-C's that are on, here on the front. Really cool, really neat. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description for the uh, the power station for you guys so y'all can get that. Thought that that would be something that you guys might would really enjoy. And uh, it is on Amazon right now for just under two hundred dollars. And what I'll do is uh, I've got a they've actually given me Browie actually gave me a link for their Amazon page. And uh, if you just click that link, you won't be um, like charged anymore or anything like that. But I will get like a small commission from uh, y'all using the link. Um, it's not much but every little bit does help and uh, anyway guys I hope y'all enjoy that and that's about all I got for you today so I hope y'all have a great weekend and hope that y'all uh, enjoy that little power station and until next time I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors get out and enjoy nature bye guys <laughs>